What's up, everybody? You are reading this correctly. This does say New Veggie Sliders from White Castle. Now, according, and there's no nutritional facts, but according to the poster, depending on what type of sauce you get or toppings you get on the burger, you can go up to 270 calories. If not, it's about 140 per patty. Now, I told the freaking dude I wanted cheese. He didn't they put nothing. So, this is my first time trying this. Yeah, I know. White Castle and veggie burgers, they don't go in the same sentence. But here it goes. I apologize if you're listening to my chewing, but all veggie burgers look like somebody took a dump and they just made a patty out of it. So this doesn't look any different. I will say it tastes like a damn veggie burger. And even though I'm not 100% vegetarian, I do prefer more vegetables than red meat and stuff like that. So that is why I'm giving it a shot. So unless you put something on top of it, you're really not getting, there's no onions. Like I, I figured there'd be onions, like the signature the signature ingredient for White Castles is the onions, and that's why you get all those stomach pains. Because they have a bed of onions, and then they put the patties on top and the bread and blah, blah, blah. And it gives you the runs and stuff. So, there's no such thing with this veggie slider. I just took another bite. And, uh... There's some, there's some form of flavor to it. I could taste some type of seasoning, but uh, it's not bad. If, if you're a vegetarian and you're hanging out and like the only place open is White Castle, at least now you have an option. I, like I said, I'm not a huge vegetarian, but I do prefer... Uh, poultry every once in a while once in a blue moon I eat a burger or a steak from a very good place but for the most part I prefer to stay away from red meat and stuff like that so this is a pretty good option of course I gotta smother it with some type of seasoning <laughs> but anyway I'm JVB and these are the new veggie sliders from White Castle later